本地剧团 Toy Factory 八月底将呈现知名英国剧作《恋马狂》。剧中，一位爱马如痴的十七岁少年与马房女助手发生关系后，竟干下不可思议的暴力罪行，把六匹马儿刺瞎。二零零七年，这出舞台剧在伦敦西区上演时，也因《Harry Potter》电影童星 Daniel Radcliffe 的全裸演出而轰动一时。来到新加坡，担任男主角的舞台剧新人 Ethan c h i a 同样也有约十分钟的裸戏。另一名男演员 Walter Hanna 则将扮演马儿 Nugget， 两人将同台共谱一段人马恋，挑战的难度可想而知。I have Ethan next to me who plays Alan Strang in Toy Factory's newest production, Equus. Hello. Hello. Tell us, what is it like to be interacting with your fellow actor, who is actually Walter and plays、uh, he plays also the the horse character Nugget、yes. in in the play. Well, it helps that Walter is very convincing. <laughs> <laughs> But、uh, a lot of that has to do with the imagination. So we kind of did our research before we before we stepped into the rehearsal room. And we found similarities be between、uh, horse bodies and、uh, human bodies.、Mm. Uh, one of them being that、uh, the four legs, the the front legs of the horse, look very much like、uh, like a human's legs. And so、uh, when I do it, I kind of imagine the horse body extending from、uh, from the back of Walter. So it's the imagination that helps. In the real.、Um On stage production scene, there will be like、uh, nudity scenes involved, and then you might、mm. be nude in front of another <laughs> human actor who's <laughs> playing、uh, as a horse, and, and you'll be interacting with him in close proximity. I honestly think that the awkwardness is overcome a lot by just how much respect we have for each other. That you know, we're not like oh, you know, we're not we're not disgusting. <laughs> we don't awkward, but you know,、uh, I think we all we all respect each other as professionals and as fellow actors, and so. Really, at the end of the day, the awkwardness kind of just gets tired over, and by then we'll just rehearse enough that it's really no surprise to any of us. We just okay again.、Okay. Okay. What are some of the emotions that、uh, that are involved in in your scenes with Nugget? One of the things that started for it was just awe, kind of、uh, just amazement, really, kind of drawn in by the beauty of. Creature that is that big and that gentle.、Mm, but subsequently, it, be it became something that's more complex, right? And how do you、yeah. handle that part? Kind of like, but not exactly like. You know how people get very attached to their dogs,、mm -hmm. and just seem to treat their dogs as something more than that. They become friends, and then they become something you know a lot closer.、Mm. Uh, and in in a way, there's a kind of semblance of that relationship with Nugget, except that. It's of a much higher level. But then physically, we see Walter. Then it's like, <laughs> how do you how do you change that that real image into something that's the mental image of all? Like,、mm. Mm, would it have been better that if a real horse was on stage acting with you? Yes, but it would probably kick me、uh, in the face. <laughs>、uh, <laughs> we want to invite everybody to just、uh, imagine with us and go. Oh yeah, that's. That's it.、Oh, okay, now we get now we get the feeling that there are, that there's horse riding. Now we get the feeling that there's this, and we get that. So the audience has quite a big job to play. They have to、oh. go and you know exercise their imaginations. I think you've been exercising quite a lot、uh. for your <laughs> role as well, since there'll be quite some、um, flesh revealing moments. Uh. <laughs> uh, I actually exercise quite a fair bit even before this. I am a devout follower. Of this、uh, movement system called Budokan. Budokan was invented by a man called Cameron Shane. In Japanese, it actually means、uh, "spirit of the warrior."、Uh, it's a combination of yoga, martial arts, and meditation. Yeah, and、uh, it's a very nice, well-rounded、uh, routine that I wake up every morning and I do because、um, it it helps me not just keep fit as well, but、uh, the meditation really helps to center me in terms of where I am emotionally and mentally. Because、uh, Alan is very, very incredibly emotionally demanding,、mm. and it's、uh, quite mentally demanding as well. So it's it's good for me to just have that have that time when your whole body has been is pumped and full of energy and is just pumping with adrenaline that you just calm it down with just silence and breathe. I believe the yoga and the martial arts keep your body in shape for the nude scene as well.、Oh, we always have to go back to the nude scene. Yeah, why? Why? <laughs> why? All of us are just curious. Like,、mm, so what kind of body type will our Singaporean 
version of Ella just trying hand. An ectomorph. Ectomorph? Yes. Okay, what, uh, do you have any goals for yourself set for Ellen Strang in terms of the physique? I knew from the beginning that I didn't want to, to put on mass. Okay. I didn't want to come like, you know, too buff because Alan is 17, no one's going to buy him you know, at 17 if yes. he's you know, Arnold, walk, Arnold Schwarzenegger walking around on stage. Mm. Um, so, but, he's, but because it needs to be toned, and this is, it can get quite physical. Uh, so the tone, uh, toning up the muscles was very important for me, getting them just dense and ready for any physical, any choreography that we do. Actually, when we first started, uh, Ryan was telling me, you need to start losing. <laughs> Because I was I was already quite a bit mm. thicker uh, in here and you know here, <laughs> so I had to kind of shed some of that. So yeah, but now I think I'm I'm of an okay kind of range. Yeah. Right.